<sighs> good enough. Good enough. It's good enough. Is this good? Is this good? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I right now? This seems too far away. This also seems too far away. There we go. Maybe, maybe that's good. All right, whatever. What's up humans? It is after hours. I just closed the shop. All the guys are gone. Liss and Irving are gone for the day. And I just got the sting waters in. We just got a few pairs so far. So hopefully the rest of them are gonna be here on Friday. But I kind of wanted to take a look at these um, side by side, the Dunk High Hawaii versus the Dunk Low Stingwater. They are not at all similar. We've got the uh, Dunk Low Stingwater here. Um, first look, I wanted to put these side by side because nobody was really hyped on them at first. But I just wanted to get into these real quick. This video doesn't have to be super intense because we don't have to cut anything away. We just have to look at this shoe. So here is the Sting Water. Um, I think it looks pretty sick. It's got that, uh, it's supposed to look like a mushroom. And I think they did a good job of doing that, pulling that off. Just want you guys to be able to see all the details of this shoe up close and personal. I love this tongue right here. That's pretty sick. Um, I don't know. It's like a classic look. It's got like a classic vibe to it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, here's your inside. Jeweled swoosh on both sides. And uh, here we go. Plant, plant emoji with eyes. Is that what it says? Yes. Plant emoji with eyes. That's both soles for you. It does come with two extra laces. Again, with these plastic lace bags that we probably don't need, but you guys love. Um, there's both shoes side by side with your extra laces. Uh, clear bottoms, obviously. I think the bottoms alone kind of make the shoe. What do you guys think? It's kind of crazy. The reason why I wanted to compare this to the um, 420s is because we, this might be the first time we've ever had shoes back to back with stash pockets. So yeah, back to back stash pockets. You don't get that all the time. This one's a little different. It, it zips. Kind of reminds me of some of the old Chad Muska shoes from back in the day, which was kind of cool. I don't even remember if they had zippers on them, but for some reason in my head, I'm like, yeah, some of the Chad Muskas had zippers on them and they had stash pockets in the, in the tongue. Just like these, um, you got your uh, mushroom right there. What does it say again? Empty your mind. And then your, um, your insoles are kind of hard to get out. But let's try to take a look at these insoles. There you go. Please don't step on me, I'm trying to grow. Got your pour on four foot, just like the, your usual uh, Nike SB insole. These insoles are amazing. I do like the Stingwater logo with the, the different swoosh with the SB on it. That is pretty sick. Um, I don't like this green color, it kind of sets it off different than the rest of the shoe. Yeah, I think that's really it. I just wanted to kind of, Take a look at these, see what you guys think. Right here, we still have a pair. This is one of my, one of my friend's pairs I've borrowed for this, uh, for this shoot. So I could kind of put these side by side. What do you guys think? These two were battling it out uh, for a second there, just, just in the way that nobody was feeling either one of them. And, uh, now I think in hand, they're really sick. They're both really nice. I think this is gonna be a sleeper. This was a sleeper until you saw the reveal and then everybody had to have it. So both come with two laces, two extra lace options. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not gonna take a super close look at these because we already have seen these. Um, I did make a few new t-shirts for this one, 
because we sold out of the tie-dye of the tiki design, the tiki mask design, and so many people were asking for it. We did a couple new colors of that, and we did restock the Aloha tees that uh, sold out last week. So if you were looking for those, we have more of those on the site now, bluetilesc.com. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want to look, look, closer look again? What do you guys think? What's your favorite detail? I like this clear, the clear tongue with the, you can see the, uh, the foam behind it. Something I forgot to mention too, the inside here, if you take a close look at this, this is supposed to, um, kind of look like the gills of a mushroom, the underneath, the underside of a mushroom. So um, there are a lot of details in this shoe that you probably overlooked. Off the top of my head, I can't think of another dunk low with a jeweled swoosh on the side, a backwards jeweled swoosh, which is kind of cool. And you definitely won't see something like this again. So people are gonna sleep on this because it's so unique. What do you guys think? I don't know. Taking a good look at them, I think they're pretty dope. So that's those. Um, I did want to show you guys this. This is the new t-shirt that we made for the Tiki. Um, it does go well with the shoe right out of the box. But if you did cut away the green portions of the shoe, I think it would really bring out the green in this shirt. Another thing I noticed is a lot of people weren't wanting to cut their shoes up. They're like, no way, I can't do it. They're too nice. I'm just going to leave them as is. And so that kind of rendered these lace options useless because these kind of match the undercolors. So I did make this shirt kind of bring those laces in. You know, you got your, uh, you do have this, uh, this, um, safety orange tongue hit so next to the shoe looks pretty dope stay tuned I'll, I'll film some uh, up close and personal with the shoes and the shirt so what do you guys think um, just gonna pile that stuff there um, this one we did kind of play off of the green and the sole of the sting water it's not really related to the shirt but it got or to the shoe it's not really related to the shoe. I can't even talk. It's the end of a long day and I've been printing all day and now everyone's gone and it's pouring rain. Can you hear the rain? I hope not. Anyway, so there, there's this shirt. I think it goes pretty well with the sting water. It is not, you know, it's not exact, but it's got a mushroom on it. It's got that green, green sole. What you guys think? But this is the last shirt I'm going to show you guys. This is for an upcoming raffle that we're going to do. It's been really hard to figure out how to release these things because shipping delays and partial shipments and then like everything kind of showed up at one time. Uh, so we have had some shoes like when are we going to release these because we don't want to release it during this release and it's going to just bog everything down. So. I believe next week we're going to release um, this, the shoes that go with this shirt. Uh, I think you can figure it out. Um, Don Molasses Jones, Don Taylor, he's done an amazing job on a lot of our shirts. And I think this one's no exception. What do you guys think? Check it out. All the details in there. Pretty cool. Anyway, so originally we did this design a little while ago. Uh, we just never printed it like a week or two ago. We just never printed it. So then, you know, playing off that, we, we were like, oh, you know, we could stick with the Mario vibe and kind of tie that into that sting water. And I think it works. Um, I definitely like the green. It's not so like matchy matchy, but it looks tight together. You know, it looks good. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I know this thing is uh, super all over the place, but let me know what you think. Which one was your favorite? Which one? Ding, ding. What do you guys think? Let me know. Comments below. Boom. Guys, I almost forgot. 
Don also did this guy here, or this lady here. Um, what is this? Our Lady of Luxury, the Saint of Drops. So he did this. We're going to hang this up in the store. Look at all the details. I think you can go to his Instagram. He's selling prints of this. So um, look at all the crazy detail in this thing. Anyway, so thank you, Don, for making so much sick art. It's insane. So anyway, guys, I think that's it. I'm going to show you some more shoes. But other than that, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, sorry this video is so frantic. I've got one more to film tonight. It's going to be glorious. Vegan skate shoes. Do you guys care about vegan shoes? Some of them aren't skate shoes, but vegan shoes. Do you guys care? Um, damn, I have something else to show you. I'm going to get away from this shop at some point tonight, but I just, you know what? You know how Converse is owned by Nike? Well, Converse also had a, uh, Converse Skateboarding, or Cons, had a uh, 420 release as well. It's in this box. There's also a Chuck Taylor. Uh, we don't have that yet. Shipping delays, again, crazy. So I know it's after, way, way after 420. But we did get these White Widow slip-ons, which are pretty dope. There you go. What do you guys think of this thing? So I don't know if you're a... Converse crew or not, but you got your white widow on the back. Lots of webs. Pretty simple shoe. There's not much to it. If you like slip ons, this is pretty sick. Anyway, canvas slip on. I believe it does have rubber behind the toe. Um, all the skate ones usually do. I can't feel it, so don't quote me on that. But um, a vegan skate shoe, if, if you will. Pretty dope. So I'm going to wrap it up with that. I'm, this is going to be in my next video as well. Just focusing on some vegan footwear. I like that stuff. I'm wearing some canvas chucks right now. Um, I do like the vegan shoes. That's usually what I get for myself. So um, thank you guys for watching. All the best and love blue tile.